Topia wasn't as rowdy as in years past. There was still a lot of trash to clean up this morning. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez shows us the annual effort to pick up all that trash. So the way you count a block is you clean both sides of the street from intersection to intersection. With gloves, buckets, and scoopers in hand, volunteers got to work the morning after Deltopia. If we didn't have this program after these events, there, there's no cleaning crew that's that's paid to come in and clean up Isla Vista after, after these large unsanctioned events. <laughs> In 2014, it took two weeks to clean up after the riots littered the streets with glass and trash. This year, the party wasn't as intense, but the intention is the same. To be able to, to get those 350 volunteers together and work to accomplish a, a, a goal that we all want to accomplish um, is pretty amazing to be a part of. Students, residents, environmental groups, sororities, and fraternities all pitched in to restore order. Red Solo cups, bottles, and tons of cigarettes went into the trash. Yo, Volunteers are needed year-round. Uh, we don't have street sweeping days, which means if you moved all the cars off on one side of the street on Del Playa once a week, there's no place for those cars to go yeah. um, when, when you displace them. So we, uh, so we rely on volunteers to get that area that the street sweeper cannot get to. And when the day is done, residents feel a sense of pride in the community. Like everyone comes here and they see a party town, but we want to keep the community clean so that we look presentable to anyone that visits. In Isla Vista, I'm Elise Martinez reporting.